Hey love bugs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Dick. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I teamed up with AF Sister Wig to bring you this gorgeous curly bob. She is absolutely beautiful and if you follow my channel and you've seen my videos with AF Sister Wig, you guys know they have some of the best quality hair. Now this one here, I didn't add like an extreme amount of product because the hair itself is just so soft to the touch. Um, You honestly don't need a lot of product and of course it's going to dry and get bigger and bigger. Also this one is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig and it is Swiss lace. So you, got, you guys already know it's that soft Swiss lace that is just soft to the touch and it just melts so effortlessly into your skin. I did opt for full on Instagram baby hair just because I love the texture of the hair and how um, even when I go in and swoop and form the baby hair this is the type of lace compared with the type of hair that it doesn't need to be like form like it's gonna just fall and move however it wants and that's exactly what I love so much I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my start to finish install on this one I kept it beginner friendly for you guys so to be easy to follow along I believe I'm um, also this one again I think I already said it's a 13 by 6 Swiss lace wig but the frontal is free parting so you will be able to like part the wig on the sides not that you would want to go this deep with a part for like your parting but you could possibly want to do like cornrows or like two ponytails and you can go deep and far back on the sides as well which is a bonus so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the install be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and now let's get right into it okay ladies let's jump right into it this is the star of the show for today we're rocking curly today and i'm super excited here's a look at the inside construction of the cap now this one is a 3d full 13 by 6 skin melt swiss lace front wig it does include an adjustable strap in the inside aka an elastic band and then this is a look at the hairline as well as what the wig looks like on now don't mind me i am watching real housewives and i'm super into the finale but i'm also being a mom and yelling at the kids go ask your daddy because mommy's working and i have some soda aka pop which is what my husband calls it let's go ahead and get into the install process first we're going to just go ahead and cut off all the excess lace around the ear now if you like a lot of baby hair and you like it to be very like lacy keep the ear tabs but for me i'm going to cut them off just because Hashtag easy low maintenance wig when you do so. From here, I'm going to cut off the remainder of the excess lace. And as you guys can see, there's still so much lace left behind. And it just looks like skin. Like if you just look at that lace, it's melting and it's not even touching my skin. But I am going to bond her down because this is a frontal. And no matter how well a frontal fits, I personally believe that in most cases, a frontal should have something adhering it down. So it just doesn't slide back. Like you don't want to be in Pilates and sit up from the reformer and your wig stays back capiche so here i am and i've used that yellow even product to go ahead and bond the wig down from ear to ear and now we are good to go you can do this one in many styles a center part and as you guys can see it's like a full cap construction where you have that six inches of parting space literally from ear to ear so if you wanted to do literally like cornrows straight back or like the deepest of deepest side parts or like two space buns and you need that parting space on the sides majority of wigs will only have like two inches of parting space on the sides and then with this one you have all of the parting space literally from ear to ear which i love did i mention this is swiss lace hashtag i am obsessed this is me here forming some baby hair the hair has such a nice soft feel to it i love it because i already know it's going to give fluffy baby hair vibes which is my favorite so i did go ahead and make my nice full what i like to call like instagram baby hair i'm aware it's not for everybody but i just love the way it looks especially when the hair is like pre-plugged for the gods this is one that if you want to impress yourself or your stylist you want to go in and like make a good impression buy a good quality wig if you're going to go to the salon and you know get it installed you don't want somebody to look at the hair you bring in like girl why you bring me this also equally youtube university here i am a professor here and i can teach you how to do it without having to pay anyone but again you just want to be able to show off your hair and know that you've made a great investment into something quality that will last so long and you'll get so many compliments all throughout the summer and you'll be able to take it through to the fall and even like straighten it out if you like 
So now we have baby hair and yes, we did go from ear to ear. We did sideburns and a soup in between. So it's nice and full, but you guys already know you can send that baby hair back on any given moment if you decide that you don't want it anymore. I'm going to go for a center part on this one. I kind of tried it out and see what a side part would look like. I think it'd be gorgeous, but I didn't want to continue to have to like flip it. You know what I mean? Like when the hair is like nice and curly and layered and short, you kind of got to flip it and keep flipping and it keeps moving around. I kind of wanted it to be set in its ways. So center part it is and I am going in with mousse. As you guys can see, I was running out of mousse. There's still some physically in the jar, but also equally it's like hard to pump out. So I used what I could get and I'm going to order some more from Amazon. My favorite is Nairobi. I'll have it in the description box, but I'm going to saturate and stretch that with water and see how far it can get. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it wasn't far enough so I knew I wanted a little bit more product the best thing to do to moisturize your hair is to condition it wash it in the sink condition it in the sink and you'll need minimal product from there but since I didn't do that we're going to use this pro product I believe it's called like blueberry bliss from curls I think that's the brand I'll have all the information in the description box and I am focusing mainly on the ends as well as the back you guys know with hair especially like real hair your ends and like in the middle and the back is where you kind of really need your product to work also, I was trying to get away without the dynamic duo, but I just kind of felt like it wasn't done. Like it looked really good and maybe to you, you wouldn't notice the difference. But for me, it just wasn't as finished as I like. So here is a dynamic duo and I'm really going to focus on the hairline. Look at that hairline. So fire, so melted, so realistic, so in love. Swiss lace is giving the skin melt of that Swiss lace is giving everything about it. It's HD and it is in full effect. Here is a piece of that lace that I've been written ranting and raving about here i am and i've just applied it to my skin with a little bit of adhesive and you can see how well it matches my skin so clutch so bomb we are done with the look as right now i am just doing the final step which you guys already know is to tint the lace i do need to wash these brushes so don't look at them too closely but i'm gonna do also a little lace tint in the hairline i'm lately i've been interested in actually trying a lace tint um you guys know i prefer to use um foundation powders and nothing like liquid or anything but lately i've been interested so you guys know i always say like oh this is the best thing ever and then a few months later i'll be like hmm but i am interested in trying something different i am going to use a kabuki brush to just buff this foundation powder which is almost gone into the hairline i usually will use a brush but today i'd rather just do this and then from here i can blend it out we are working with AF Sister Wig today, which you guys should know has some of the best hair on the market. And their lace is quality. They have some of the, literally some of the best lace and it's the clear lace. So I know when we collab, I'm going to be in love with the quality and the longevity of the hair. This isn't some like, you know, one, two type of situation. This is the real deal, holy feel. Like a lot of times if you're gonna buy something like affordable or simple and then you take it to your stylist to install, they probably will be like, girl, what did you bring me? But this is a wig, they'll be like, wow, where'd you get this from? Cause I need to take notes and probably buy some hair from them. Um, the curls are absolutely beautiful. They're very soft. I wish there was a way for me to actually reach out to the screen and send you a little snippet of it so you can see how soft the hair feels. I did start off with mousse, which I dropped, but Nairobi mousse. Um, but I was running out. I only have a little corner left, so I stopped squirting. But honestly, because the hair is so soft, I really don't want to use just mousse because mousse will add a little bit of a crunch or a hold to it. Um, so I ended up saturating it also with the curls. I've been loving this. This is the Blueberry Bliss. I sometimes will use it on the kids' hair, and it's a conditioner. Um, I'll use this on the kids, and it's no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, uh, artificial oils, or colors. So it's great for kids' like natural hair. Um, so I've been loving to use this, but I went. I brought this for my station but i've been stealing this away from this area and taking it to the kids bathroom so um you know they go through products so fast because i have two girls um so i need to re-up on this so that i can have a bottle for their stuff but i'm excited to see how this one dries but this one is absolutely gorgeous and again she did come from af sister wig this is their packaging here um as i always show you guys and inside they did include um bobby pins wig caps 
this hair pin or like hair clip. It's a carbon clip, um, wig or edge brush. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Again, check the description box for all the details, lists, and links on this one. The curl pattern on this one is absolutely beautiful. And I love the fact that I'll just be able to like, it gets Instagram baby hair, which is what I wanted today. I love how soft the hair on this one is. So I feel like I can get away with it because the hair is not bonded down by any means. It's just... I'm letting it form and mold, if you will. So it's not stuck down or bonded down by any means. So you can flip it however you want. You can send it back if you want. You can flip some of the hair to, if you can train it, you can train it to go like the opposite way if you want to make yours extreme. But I just like a lot going on in the front with my short curly wigs. It just gives it a little style and personality. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you love the content here. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.